Okay, here we're going to solve systems by elimination. And in the first example, example number two, we have to multiply one of them by a constant in order to get the coefficients the same. And it looks like if we multiply by six, we will get the x to go away on this side. And that would probably be the smartest way to go. So I'm going to multiply this by 6. And I'm going to end up with, I'm going to write it over here. I'm going to distribute the 6 and I get 6x plus 60y equals 30. Next I'm going to copy this down, the first equation back down on top of it. Looks like I should have put it below it because I see the minus here. And I'm going to subtract both of these. So this goes away. Minus 20 minus 60 is minus 80y. Minus 50 minus 30 is minus 80. So I figure out that y equals, if I divide both sides by negative 80, I get y equals 1. Now I'm going to find out what x would be if y equals 1. So x plus, I'm going to take the second equation because it's has x by itself equals 5. I'm going to sub in y equals 1. I think that's one of my answers. And we get 10 times 1 equals 5 plus x x multiplied by 10, subtract it off from both sides, get minus 5, x equals minus 5. I did that kind of quick, so I'm going to check it over here with the first equation. Sub again same thing, y equals 1. If I get the same x, then that means that's the intersection point, because that's the point where it works for both of them. Both equations, linear equations. Okay, so... It's minus 20. I'm going to add it to that side plus 20 to both sides. And 6x equals minus 30. Divide both sides by 6. And you get x equals negative 5. Alright, these are the same, so I checked it. So this is my solution point. This is where it crosses, where the two lines cross. Again, here I distributed. And backing up a little bit farther, I needed two coefficients that could subtract. So they had to be the same, or one the negative and one the positive. So I could add them, and I subtracted them got y by itself, then I plugged y in 
this equation to get negative 5 and I checked it with the second equation okay so next the next one multiplying both equations put a question mark there because there's a faster way okay I'm gonna multiply probably do this one because 6 and 4 is smaller than 5 and 8 so I'm going to multiply this one by 6. That will give me a 24 here. And this one by 4. That will give me a 24 here. And then I can subtract them. Let's see what the equations look like. Multiply by 6. Multiply this one by 4. I don't really like the syntax where you put where you're distributing across an equal sign. So I'm gonna put the answers down here. first equation. Again, I always check my work to make sure that I'm doing it right. Because I make enough mistakes even when I check it. These two are going to subtract. And I get negative 2x equals 2 divide by 2 and I get, oops, I should divide by negative 2 so I get rid of the negative x equals negative 1 I have to find y so I use the first equation And let's see what we get here. So then x equals negative 1. negative 5, I'm going to add it to the other side. I'm going to add negative 5. I'm going to add 5, I guess. Add 5, add 5. Divide both sides by 4. Get y equals 6 over 4, which equals 3 over 2. I think my first equation, my first coordinate point is 3 over 2 for y. I'm going to check if I'm plugging it in the second equation. So, we'll start this equals 1 sub 